This is the instructions for K9 web protection software. How to install and get it running and also some other features that are available once you have already installed it. The first step that you're going to do is going to go ahead and search for the website which all you have to do is go into any search engine and type in K9 web protection. This particular example is done through Google and you can see there it pops up right away the very first one go ahead and click on that link to go right to their web page from here notice on the right hand side with the red arrow you're going to want to click on that first box to download the K9 software go ahead and click on that box and you will be taken to this screen here is where you're going to want to go ahead and fill out your information which I've highlighted with the yellow box your first name your last name your email and then to verify your email again and then uh, for the drop down just put anything there and then request a license a license will be emailed to your email address that you submitted here right in these uh, fields and you want to go ahead and go to your email address and copy that license number so that you're ready to go for the very next step in the process. From here you're going to want to, uh, if you can see here where the red arrow is pointing, click on that box there for download software. Once you click on that box you will be taken to a screen here and actually there's now three different uh, options for you. The first one that I'm uh, highlighting here is for Windows. This is for 32-bit versions only. Uh, if you need any help finding out whether or not you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit Windows operating system, simply uh, Google that to find out how it is possible for you to verify uh, which system you're running, whether 32-bit or 64-bit. This is an old screenshot. Uh, if you were to go to the screenshot today, there would be two options for Windows. The first option would be the 32-bit version, which is the most popular one. Uh, most people do have that version and the other option is for the 64-bit which would only be for uh, much newer computers uh, if you have a computer that you've just purchased then it would most likely be that and then the third option is for Macintosh if you're running on an Apple then you would choose the Mac OS X option now what you would do is you would run through the entire download process you would input the uh, license code that you received you would also input your secret your secret password for having the software and reboot the computer at that point you will be done the uh, it will be installed two of the web most common websites that it does block right off the bat is YouTube and Facebook and as you can see here this is what would happen if you were to go to YouTube or Facebook or really any of the sites that is blocked this is what you would see K9 is unique in that it doesn't block URLs it blocks uh, categories so it would block an entire category. It could also block uh, a certain site. If maybe there's one particular site that you want it to block. So if you were to go here, this in this particular example, I'm using MySpace. If you look where it says category blocked, and then underneath that, you try to visit a site that is blocked, and then it says the the website, which is MySpace.com. It's blocked because it's categorized as, and then in red, social networking. Now the options here. The first one that I highlighted and put a box around with the red arrow it gives you an option to allow this website but if you look to the right of that box you also see where you can allow this category this is something where you can allow the entire category for whatever reason if you want to just allow social networking or uh, for example if uh, your child happens to be doing a paper uh, on abortion you may want to allow instead of just one website you may want to allow the entire category for at least a certain amount of time so that they can finish their paper uh, the options on that drop down is for 15 minutes for 30 minutes for 60 minutes and permanently. So if, for example, you you use YouTube on a regular basis and you want it to be unblocked, then what you would do is click the drop down to where it would say permanently and then click on the, the, plate, the place where I've highlighted in yellow, allow this site. If you were to click on that, then you would be available to access that website at any time. And if you wanted to block it later, you can and I'll show you how. So the first, you would click on allow this site. It would then ask you, it would then ask you to log in to the um, it would ask you to log in to the uh, using your password that you already put in and you would put that in and then click on the check mark with OK and at that point you would then be allowed to uh, log into that website 
The next thing that you're going to want to do just to kind of see the different options that are available for K9 is uh, you can actually go to the program itself and this is simply by going into start programs and then K9 software and you will be taken to this screen. From here you can go ahead and click on the setup box that I've highlighted and put a red arrow on and if you were to click on that it would take you to this interface right here you can see that the way that it is set up as a default is it blocks categories these are the categories that it is blocking currently you can set it to high uh, I would only recommend default high or custom custom is one where you basically pick and choose which categories are allowed and which ones are not and then if you notice on the left hand side there that navigation panel these are other options of ways to uh, adjust the software to your specific liking. There's the ones that I like the most are the time restrictions and the website exceptions. The other ones uh, are just minor ones. For time restrictions, it is what it says. It's basically restricting the web, uh, the internet as a whole, uh, for certain time limits. If you don't want it to be used after 10 o'clock and not until 6 in the morning or whatnot, then you just set those exceptions in there. For website exceptions. Uh, you can have a it has a red and a green flag it's basically for you to um, set uh, websites individually to either allow to always allow or to always block and so like for example in that last one say we were to unblock myspace and later on we wanted to block it you would just go into your interface click on the website exceptions link over in the navigation panel and then it would show as a website that is always to be allowed and all you have to do is delete that exception and then it would from that point on be blocked and uh, the last thing I like about it is that it view you can view internet activity that's up at the top of the panel and uh, what's great about this is that obviously with uh, really enter any website or any uh, browser rather you can delete the activity but with uh, K9 it stores that information and you alone have the power to delete the activity in the URL browsing history. So obviously, uh, wherever anyone has been, you'll be able to see it. And it does break it down uh, where the users have been by category as well. And uh, that is all there is to it. If you have any questions, obviously you can email me at info at firstchurchsterlingheights.com. Again, it's I-N-F-O, info at firstchurchsterlingheights.com. All one word. Thank you.